Hey guys, it's Shato to you. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're not, what's good, besties? So today, we're on Sims. It's been a long time, like actually a long time since I played Sims for real. I know I usually say that about everything, but yeah. So, but I've been on a kick lately because I updated my mods and everything. So everything's up to date. And if you guys don't know, I've been working on a Detroit style save file called Four Town. I post about it on my Tumblr all the time. If you're interested, linked in the description. Um, but I kind of just want to, I guess we call it like a little series or whatever. I just want to go through talking about the townies and the builds and whatnot. So we're going to jump right in. I have two. We're actually just going to go into the normal one. They're just a duplicate just in case one messes up. So yeah. So we're going to go in and I'm trying to figure out what family I want to start with. But as you can see, I made a lot of progress. I only have one, two, three, four lots left in Willow Creek. This save is meant to be like very um, realistic in, term, in terms of like the build style or whatever. But, you know, there's some, some things that you kind of have to take in consideration when you're building in Sims and stuff like that. In this save file, I want to have things that I would use when I play. That's the biggest thing. So um, as you can see here, I have a bunch of multi-purpose restaurants, multi like a bunch of multi-purpose lots, except for this one. This is just a roller rink. Um, but the whole time while I'm making this, I'm just considering what I like to do when I start a save file. So every time I start a new save file, this would be what the save file would look like basically. And in the save file, I want to have new crest. New crest is like, um, Detroit, and then I want to do, wait, no, I'm tripping. <laughs> Willow Creek is like Detroit, like Detroit, and then like the surrounding, like Metro Detroit, basically. And then Willow, Newcrest, I mean, will be um, downtown Detroit and like, you know, the area around there. And then I want to have Magnolia Promenade, which um, is also going to be kind of like downtown Detroit. Uh, but like more restaurant focus, I guess. And then one destination world, which would be Mount Komorobi, and it'll be like current Japan. Somewhere in Japan, I haven't decided where yet. Evergreen Harbor, because that's my favorite world to play in. And where is it? San Sequoia. Okay, so yeah. So I want it all to be Michigan inspired, except for Mount Komorobi and probably No, that's it. Only Mount Comerabi. <laughs> the rest of them will be inspired by some spot in Michigan. So yeah, you guys will have to excuse me for my explanation. If you are subscribed to me and you watch literally anything I've ever uploaded before, y'all know I'm not really the best explainer <laughs> somehow. <laughs> I'm not the best explainer, but I think you guys get what I'm saying. So it's like limited world, not going to do everything, but, but the worlds that I would play in the most, you know what I mean? So the very first family that I made in this save file was the her family so i honestly have not figured out exactly the lore for all of them um but it's like very general and i think i actually started typing in here yeah very general but i'm gonna take them into cast and i'll start you know explaining each of them and then we'll go into their house and you'll see all right first up is miss vicky heard my girl her outfits are so cute let's start there she has a feminine walk style. Uh, okay. And her aspiration is to be a friend of the world. This sim wants to make and keep as many friends as they can. That gives her the gregarious trait. And then she also has um, high maintenance. I always like to give my sim at least one negative trait. I don't usually put mean, but sometimes if I'm feeling like uh, adventurous, I'll throw mean in there. <laughs> so hers is high maintenance. Um, she's adventurous and she is loyal. Her whole thing is, I, I kept it very surface level because I want to leave room for myself to like dive into this family and then be like, well, I don't want her to do that. So let's do something else. You know what I mean? So generally she likes kids. She's like, she likes to, um, take care of kids. She wants to have more kids. So her dream is to like start up a daycare her own little daycare. We'll go through her outfits, but this is her face up close. I thought I could get it without, yeah. Okay, this is her face up close. 
<laughs> literally love her i'm obsessed with her um and she has a really strict dad and this is the one time because this was the first family that i did so i didn't end up making her dad and then like killing him or something i just she has an imaginary dad okay <laughs> like imagine her dad is in the save yeah but yeah so she likes to work with kids she used to work um at a at a daycare on her own but that kind of that's kind of where she got the idea of starting one up on her own and this is her formal she's very much a uh proper and conservative like she's very she has manners to the t she doesn't like to be too much you know what i mean um this is her athletic this is her sleepwear so freaking cute this is her um party i tried to keep it really like um cc free of course some things like her hair and her her um skin overlay and stuff like that is not cc free but i mean i'm playing this the most so <laughs> it, you you guys don't have to have these tonies you know what i mean anyways this is her hot weather so cute and this is her cold weather love her when i first started to save i kind of wanted it to be like early 2000s like when i was younger but then i changed it down and i was like um it's still very much i'm keeping the timeline to what i saw when i was growing up not so much what i'm seeing right now if you know what i mean and then we'll move on from her so like i said very general um so if you play this family if you download the save and you play this family then you can kind of take it in the direction you want to and do what you want with that loose storyline of her wanting to start her own daycare this is her husband darren let's take this off hold on y'all this is her husband darren darren heard and he his aspiration is to be a renaissance sim he wants to what is, what is that <laughs> The Sim wants to attend university and get a job, but most importantly, learn. So my idea is he went to college when he was in his um, his early young adult. Now he's in his late young adult. And let's see his walk style. He just has a normal walk style. And then he has the quick learner trait, dog lover, loyal, and he is a foodie. And Miss Girl knows how to cook good. So, you know, uh, what they say, the way to a man's heart is the stunt. Wait, is that what they say? <laughs> I don't know. But, um, so he is kind of, even though he's a renaissance sim, no. Because he's a renaissance sim, he's kind of like a jack of all trades type sort. Beat. <laughs> okay. So he does a lot of different things. Um, he, he really reminds me of, if you guys watch Austin and Alley. No, even even better. Let's do two references. If you guys watch Austin and Ali, he's definitely giving what was her name in there? Trish Trish? He's definitely giving Trish. Yeah, he's always got a new job. And then if you guys watch Martin, it's he's Tommy, okay? If you ask anybody, he does not have a job. So yeah. But he works really hard. He's always doing something, some kind of work, lawn care, anything. Through the sins mechanic, he does odd jobs. I think I downloaded a mod where he's like a um, property repair man or something like that. I don't know. I can't remember. I'll go into like uh, live mode, live mode, whatever, live mode, and then we'll see what I have in there. And he gets a lot of pressure from uh, Vicky's dad to like give, get them a better life, move them out of the hood. All that kind of thing. Um, even though the house isn't that bad, am I biased because it's literally modeled after my childhood house? Whatever. But yeah, so a lot of pressure from her dad to like create a better life for their daughter and 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 his daughter and whatever. Okay, so he's always working. This is his every day. He has two. Actually, I think Vicky also has two. I forgot that I made more than one. Oh wait, did I get a close up of his face? I don't think I did actually. This is his face. Literally, I'm not good at making men, but I did my thing on this one, okay? And then this is his formal. Why does he wear this? I don't know, but it, it gives him. He was trying to be something. He's trying to be spicy or something. And then this is athletic. This is his sleepwear. I was really trying not to like, I really have a tendency. Hold on, let's, let's stop on this one. I really have a tendency to like pick a color and then 
use that color throughout all the outfits. So I was really trying to like stray away from that because no one does that unless you like purple. No one does that. <laughs> so yeah, so I tried to like mix it up a little bit, especially with this one. And then this is sleepwear, his party. Yeah, yeah. Short of wearing a white t-shirt, this is what you see at parties for men, yeah. Um, His swimwear, these are not base game. These are custom content, I think, but it's really easy to just fix that right quick. This is his hot wear, heat, hot weather wear. Mm, his shoes do not match. That's okay. I'll change it later. <laughs> and then this is his cold weather wear. But yeah, he loved wearing his ring. He loved his wife. Damn. Okay. Um, and then the last one in the Herd family is Virginia Herd. They just call her V, but Virginia Herd. And she is... A cutie pie. She's a whiz kid, okay. And whiz kid is just um, this kid wants to be the smartest kid in school, okay. And her goal and her trait is competitive. So for Virginia, she's a child, so I really just let, let you roll the dice on this one. Um, if I was to like jump into this family, I would have the option of playing Virginia, and she doesn't have like any. Oh, I want to be this when I grow up. You can just choose what you want for her. Her goals are still being found out. She's a child, so she kind of has like loose goals. Like, I want a little sister. I want, <laughs> I want to be popular and cool and have true religion genes. That's that's the kind of thing she be she's on right now. So yeah, this is her. Oh, close up. I always forget. I always forget about the close up. This is her face. I feel like she's a good mix of her mom and her dad, but she definitely looks more like her dad. Yeah. Definitely more like her dad. Um, but this is her every day. This is her formal, very age appropriate. Okay, I definitely had something like this, but it was black and pink. Uh, <laughs> this is her out, her athletic, or what do they call it? Oh, that is it, her athletic. This is her sleepwear. My girl, I love her. I love this whole family, okay? Um, this is her party wear. This is her swimwear. Oh, adorable. She got a big old head. <laughs> this is her hot weather. Love it. I love her hair. She's so cute. I love everything. <laughs> okay. And then this is her cold weather. That is the herd family. And then now we're going to jump over to live mode and check out the lot. Live mode? It might be live, y'all. I don't know which one is it y'all tell me anyways if y'all can't tell i'm super rambly and excited about this it'll get better as we progress through the families but right now y'all gonna have to deal with excited me okay i haven't talked about this in a long time all right so now we're here at the lot with the herd family this is where they live if you guys haven't seen this street we'll look around here here's the street this is still street so they live right at the end And this is 1068 Still Street, right? We got a park over here. Actually, I think that that is Virginia right there. Yeah, she's playing at the park. So, perfect. You know how back in the day, your mom used to always say, stay where I can see you, stay where I can see you. Luckily, the park's right where her mom can see her. So, she got it made. I made this house, like I literally modeled this house exactly after where I used to live when I was younger in Detroit. Um, we moved when I was like, seventh grade we moved yeah it was seventh grade um so most of my memories are from here and then once we moved we moved after our house got broken into so um when i was like yeah it's time to go y'all <laughs> so we moved out to the burbs that's where we live now um but yeah it's so cute still one of my favorite builds ever Honestly, I love all the builds in this state. They're so simple and cute. But we'll go ahead and look inside. I'm gonna get all this stuff off the screen. Um, oops. So inside, this is what the floor plan looks like. It's very much uh, really simple. There's Vicky. She's vibing. And then here's the kitchen. <laughs> 
he he talked about his job or something. Little TV over here, and my sisters will watch this, and they'll be like, "Bro, this literally looks exactly like still." Okay, we I am missing like there was like a dining room between here. There was like a little hallway, and the hallway had like a dining table, but this house is not big enough for all that. So <laughs> we had to just live with the the kitchen table that we had. Um, and then in here is um Darren and Vicky's room love it very nice and then this is Virginia's room which this was what my room looked like it was a little bit more teal and less sea moss but um <laughs> it literally looks like this a mess <laughs> so yeah so yeah that's their rooms I cluttered more than I usually do because I just think it, it just it just felt fitting so yeah but as you can see, I have some of the box TVs because I definitely grew up in the house with some box TVs. The first TV that wasn't a box TV was this one in the front room. And then you can come out here, come down here. This is where the dog would be. They don't have a dog right now, but the option's there. Um, the backyard, simple, cute. And then downstairs is where... Um, Vicky would be running, like having her daycare, so she has a bunch of stuff here ready. Sometimes she watches the neighborhood kids or whatever, so that's why she already has some stuff. And then this is just like the laundry room. This looks way nastier than it is, but you know, basements. <laughs> and then this is a scary bathroom with a spider in the corner, so yeah. That's literally what it was when, when we lived in <laughs> Detroit. This is what it looked like. A little bit about their jobs and stuff. Vicky's late for work right now, but she is a business consultant. You know, she gotta provide for her family too. Wow, she 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 doesn't have enough money to start up the daycare. I told y'all he just be having jobs. So <laughs> he's a lawnmower right now, but he would be changing like the next week or something to a different job. And he does odd jobs too. So yeah. And then Virginia, then Virginia's in grade school and she's a C student. So yeah, I cheated their skills. What the freak is all that? Oh. Anyways, I cheated their skills so they would l seem like a family that exists already. Um, so she already has some skills going on. Vicky, oh, I guess I lied. <laughs> I didn't cheat their skills. I definitely cheated the people that came after them though, like the people in this house, I did their skills already. Oh, look. Look at my townies walking around. They're so cute. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, no, I definitely didn't. <laughs> but I will cheat, cheat their skills to match their characters or whatever. This is gonna be one of many introductions to the families in the neighborhood. I think next we'll do this family here. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little vid. Something different. If you like the video, make sure to give the video a like, hit subscribe and turn on the bell so you never miss an upload or a stream. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.